I mean, here's another opportunity. 80%, 79.9%. You might be wondering, well, how does that work? How do you know that? Well, here's the thing. If you look here, it says service, surface rate. So this is the arbitrage rate on the surface. This is saying that if you trade this, you'll get 158% return, which is BS. And we know it's BS. But the real rate is where we've taken $100, gone into the order book, and actually traded on both sides of the order book with $100 worth of coin, BTM in this case, BTC in this case. And it's given an 80% return. So we know that there's depth to this order book. And then you might be wondering, well, what about the problem of how do I know I can transfer that coin? And I love this question because basically we've done what most people are not prepared to do. We've had a team of people spend weeks going through tons of exchanges, looking at what coins are transferable and which ones are not. And we've set our algorithm only to look at the coins that are worth looking at. And you might say, well, you know, there could be some human error in that. And I'd agree with you. Of course they can. But if you look at an opportunity and you see, oh, I can't actually trade this, you can flag it. And once you flag it, we'll review it, we'll take it into account and we'll remove it from the algorithm. Or if you see that there are exchanges and coins that you think should be added in, we can add those in. So this is what we expect from a community of people that want to work together and grow together is to help each other. But here's the thing. You can learn how to build this yourself. You don't even need us. Like learn to build it yourself. And if you do this yourself, you can write your own alerts so that when an opportunity that fits exactly the criteria you're looking for comes up, it will alert you. And the reason we haven't put that in into Crypto Wizards 2.0, we had it in 1.0. The reason we haven't put it into 2.0 is because it gives people an unfair advantage on this platform. If you set all the right alerts and another 49 members didn't, you would take the whole market here or at least the ones that we're tracking. But if you set up the ones that you track yourself, etc., and you, you do the work, set up your own alerts, that's great. But the point is you can turn up and make money, make money on demand. That's what we said we wanted. A solution where you can turn up and exchange time for money. Well, here it is, 80%. And there's loads. There's loads of them to look through. Anyhow, so that's just, that's just XScan. SmartScan is smart contract arbitrage. And again, I, I don't want to go into the details right now. You know, I was on this the other day. There was one for 14% just sitting there. Right now, the best one that I can see is about 2.71%. But I was on here the other day, 14%. And I had no alert. I, I, don't, I don't trade these all have alerts. I'm literally leaving these for the market. I'm not trading these arbitrage opportunities. That's not what I do with my time. Th these are here for you. I spend my time building these tools. That's what I do so that you can trade them. But again, you know, there was one for 14%. Let's say you set an alert yourself, you built your own custom alert tool, and you found one for 30%. You set that filter in, so you get alerted for 30% opportunities on smart contract arbitrage, which in many ways is a lot more straightforward than exchange transfer arbitrage. Well, what about triangular arbitrage? You might say, well, how would you like to be able to scan any exchange at any moment and know whether there's a triangular arbitrage opportunity? Not, not just know it, but also have a trade the order book. Again, just like the other two tools, a trade the order book. It will trade the order book for you. So let's pick on, I don't know, I'm going to pick on hit BTC and I'm going to say, just show me anything over 0.2% scan. Now it's going onto the exchange. It's going through every single coin going into the order book depth and figuring out whether or not there's a triangular arbitrage opportunity. And here's a whole ton, there's a whole heap. So here's what the arbitrage opportunities are on the surface. And here's in reality what you'd make in profit. So there's only one that's actually almost prof, I mean, it's just profitable. Well, of course you wouldn't trade any of these, but what does this help with? Well, it tells you if you were to build a bot, which I'm not a fan of, but I am a fan of them when they're just purely mathematical, when they are just purely executing a logic that works. In this case, triangular arbitrage, we know it's pro mathematically profitable. 
buy, sell, buy, sell, buy back. Like that's it. That's triangular arbitrage. And so that's what this tool will do. It will tell you, okay, this is actually quite a lot on hit BTC, meaning you could build a triangular arbitrage bot and you could literally set your threshold to say 3%, 3.5%. Anytime an ARB opportunity happens for that value, execute, go, 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 go. And there are risks in that. There are risks in any bot, by the way. I actually prefer the manual approach. I prefer personally, I would prefer to just trade based on the site. Just manually. It's you're in control. And yeah, humans make mistakes, but that's up to you. You know, are you going to be methodical? You're going to be thorough. You're going to be careful. That's up to you. But when you put a bot in charge and let's say you don't have the right error handling on that bot, that's when you run into trouble. Momentum. I won't go into it now. But how fast, for example, in the last five minutes have coins moved in relation to their volume? So let's say a coin has shot up in price, but the volume hasn't moved at all, really. That means that the order book's thin and it's a retail traders market and you can probably make some pretty easy money if you understand how to read the order book. And there's a lot of YouTube videos I've done on that, but you can, you can check that out. Same for a 60 minute time frame, two hour time frame, 20 minute time frame. What about machine learning data? Well, let's take a look. I'm going to click on Ethereum and I'm going to open in Excel. And you'll see here, there you go. And now we have how many columns? I mean, an unbelievable amount of columns. And each one of these in a machine learning algorithm is almost, you know, a, a different dimension. I mean, it can compute all of these trends in you know 30 different dimensions what human can do that and it will spit out the probability of what the price will do in the next hour from that that's what you could do with this data for example so this is hourly data this is the price of ethereum every hour and it's taking a snapshot of 10 levels into the order book it's taking a snapshot of the trading history in that hour so how many large trades were there? How many medium sized trades? How many extra large? How many small trades? So it knows based on all of that. And also what's the price of Bitcoin? And you could put this into a machine learning algorithm like XG Boost or, you know, some kind of short term, short long term recurrent neural network. And have it predict what will happen in the next hour. And this data is only growing in size. It's getting bigger every single hour. A new row is getting added every hour, every hour. It's only going to get bigger over time and it's going to become more and more and more useful over time. So it's got 10 levels of the order book, like taken like a picture, a snapshot in time for bid, for ask, for volume, for price, size, price, you name it. And more every single hour. This is not stuff that they teach. There's, there is no online course that teaches this. The only place you get this kind of thinking and real analysis is here. And you can learn how to apply it. And when you sign in, you get all of it. It's yours. You also get the spreadsheets. You might have just seen the options playbook I had open. I mean, there is so much in this VBA coding, etc., you could literally, you could repackage this, you could build your own or take this and repackage it, reskin it and sell it and make money. This is why I'm saying, you know, with all these tools as well that you have access to all these spreadsheets, everything. This is why I'm saying that the best return on investment is you. Like equip yourself with the knowledge of how to implement the stuff. Number one, you're going to spot BS a mile away. Number two, you're going to develop a skill that's actually very valuable in the marketplace, especially on the data science side, because you can apply it. Like, I can't, I can't even tell you how many tens of thousands of dollars I've made, like thousands of dollars, thousands, because of skills that I've developed outside of my job. Like, Seriously, contracts that I've been able to close where you would have had to do arbitrage for, you know, 60 days to match the value of that contract. 
The value is in learning this stuff. That's where the real value is. You become valuable in the marketplace because you have a skill and you know how to apply it, which very few people know. I've spoken with a lot of university students. They're learning AI, etc. And they know a lot of theory. But guess what? These universities can't keep up. And they haven't looked at how to actually apply it. And that's what you're going to learn. How do you track prices? How do you... All the stuff that you think is so complicated. And it's always complicated because you have to, you have to do what I did. You have to go through you know, tons and tons. I've gone through hundreds of courses, actually. In machine learning, I've gone from, through five courses in the last, I don't know, two months. And you have to go through all of this and then figure out, okay, what can I actually apply? Well, that's what we want to give you. It's just turn up, show up, learn. And if you don't want to learn, just, uh, just here, yeah, just come and use it. Use what's already been built for you here. Anyhow, I hope you got some value out of this. But just remember the best ROI is yourself. And I know a lot of people are going to be very annoyed about this. They're going to be like, well, you know, why, why our space is limited? Like, why are you limiting this membership? Because so that it stays effective and so that we also filter out the people that aren't serious about learning and improving and adding value to the community as well. Like a lot of people write to me, very often there's a sense, not, not all the time, but I'd say 10% of the time, there's a sense of entitlement. Like a lot of people, you know, people have said to me on the phone, oh, Sean, I don't have much time or money how do I make extra money? I'm like, you don't. You don't. Unless you're building an asset or a skill set or delivering value to the marketplace, you don't. You just st stay in your job. Stop, stop living a dream. Just stay in your job. But the people that show up, like, yeah, it's literally make money on demand. You show up, select an arbitrage tool, go and trade it, show up and make money. That's number one. That's how you can exchange time for money. But if you want to exchange time for assets, learn the skill, build tools that other people can use and you'll make a lot of money. You're in the market. You know what the market needs. If there is a bot that you think will really work, learn how to build it. But learn in a community of people that actually apply.